In the north of Ivory Coast, local militiamen called Dozos helped the state provide security. Unlike the nation's prosperous south, development, security and rule of law have struggled to reach here. Armed groups linked to Islamic State and Al-Qaeda already wreak havoc, less than 100 kilometres away, over the country's northern border in Burkina Faso and Mali. As they begin to attack and try to recruit in Ivory Coast, Ivorian analysts say many of the conditions that caused conflict in Burkina Faso and Mali are present here. Lack of state security, development and intercommunal tensions. One dozo who gave his name only as Sikongo said violence and crime led the militias to organise and supplement state security. The rangers, the police, the gendarmerie, we work with all of them. Often they call us and tell us to join them on missions together and they congratulate us for it. In Burkina Faso and Mali, militia groups also emerged in areas now overrun by terror groups where state control was weak. Bakari Watara runs the chapter of the Dozos in Karogo, a major city in the Ivorian north. The government does not have enough resources to install security forces in these smaller villages, especially those that are 25, 50 and 60 kilometers away from the gendarmerie or the police station. Imagine if the population is attacked. By the time the police arrive and intervene, the attackers will already have left. He added that security in the region remains good, however. Traditional leaders in the north also supplement justice and the rule of law by arbitrating disputes. When they have a problem that goes beyond them, they turn to me. The traditional leader also says development in the north has improved in recent years, although the majority of those living outside of big towns or cities interviewed by VOA disagreed. Another major cause of the conflict in neighbouring countries is tension between herder and farmer communities, which one analyst says is also a problem in Ivory Coast. The lack of cohesion between these Fulani communities and other communities, I have not yet seen a very strong action on the part of the state. But Arthur Ranga, who advises the government on the security situation in the north, played down the issue. So there is concern, but there is no exodus or displacement yet because so far the government has been able to give a good military response and is also trying to build a social response. The Ivorian Ministry of Security did not respond to an interview request by VOA. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Corogo, Ivory Coast.